Yep, stop and be running a little late today. Um, out here in Charlotte, I'm on the road traveling, so don't have access to some of the things that I'm used to having access, so bear with me. Try to, you know, handle the shaky cam or whatever. By the way, still got the Stop and BTs, stopandbeat.com. Rock them everywhere. That's what I do. Uh, wanted to talk real quick about racism. No, stop talking about racism. Whatever. I'm not calling anybody racist or saying somebody isn't racist. Just wanted to point out that people are a little too sensitive about the words used. Anytime someone says, look, there are no black people there, someone goes, oh, he's being racist. Uh, he's just pointing things out. Give an example. Clay Aiken tweeted the other day that uh, he was playing a drinking game with his friends, and the drinking game basically consisted of them drinking every time they saw a black person at the RNC. Then he tagged it with sober like a Mormon. John Rich from Big and Rich says, that's racist and he's an idiot. I don't know either of them. I, I, I don't know whether or not Clay Aiken is an idiot. I don't know whether or not Clay Aiken is a racist. I do know that statement isn't racist. Now, here's why it's not racist. If I go to Alaska and I say, there are no black people here. It's not racism. I'm not clue, clue, uh, accusing Alaskans uh, of being racist. I'm just pointing out, no black people here. If I say, hey, I wonder how many white people are in Kenya. It's not racist. I'm just pointing out, probably very few white people in Kenya. If I say sober like a Mormon, uh, Mormons traditionally don't drink. I'm just pointing out something. If I say uh, holy like a pastor, am I saying something bad about pastors? Come on, man. Come on. We got to do better. Everything isn't racism. Everything isn't a bad thing. And everything isn't a big deal. It was a tweet. Now, once you got involved in it, you sound like a hit dog yelping. I'm not saying Big uh, uh, John Rich is a hit dog. I'm just saying he kind of overreacted to that. And we all overreact to a lot of racist things. There are some things that are said that are actually blatantly racist. And when you hear those things, you react. When you hear something like that, somebody pointing out there aren't a lot of black people at the RNC, there aren't a lot of black people at the RNC. This isn't unusual. Black people traditionally vote Democratic. That's a Democrat. That's normal. That's not, oh my God, if you point that out, you're a racist. No, if you point that out, you're saying what you've seen. 98% allegedly voted in the last election in 2008 for Barack Obama, a Democrat. People call that racist. But in previous elections, the vast majority of African Americans voted Democrat for white guys. Is that racist as well? No. Whether or not black people should all vote Democratic like that is a video for another day. But reality is they voted Democrat. And you saying they voted for Democrat because he was black, there probably were some who did. But how do you explain the black people who voted Democrat in every election prior to that in most people's lives? Come on, man. Do better. Crying wolf now. Every time somebody cries racism, it's not racism. I'm calling a man a racist for making a pretty witty joke. It's going a little too far. Calm down. Stop it, B. By the way, I'm still performing all over the country. I'll be trying to do these videos on the road. Uh, Sunday, I'll be in Newport News, Virginia at Kazi's headlining the Sunday funnies. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Come on out. 9700 Warp Boulevard. Be there. Holla.